Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm starting with my raw sienna base coat. And before I put my outline on, I wanna go ahead and do my background uh, so that I don't have to work it around the, the outline. So um, this is mostly just yellow and green, but I did put a little bit of red in there. Um, but I just want to keep it very messy and very loose. I just wanted to add several colors in on it. And now on the road part, um, I'm mixing up a shade for it and it doesn't have to be exact either, just uh, whatever you like. I just, I wanted it to be light so that my shadow will show up against it, the shadow of the horse. So I'm just kind of putting some color in there and then right here in the corner, um, put some more grass color. So I'm just keeping this very, very loose, just um, very messy brush strokes. Sometimes, you know, the raw sienna background, sometimes that shows through. So I've dried it and I've sketched on my outline. And um, so now I'm just mixing up blue and black and I'm gonna paint the whole thing this color. Um, and then I can put other colors on top of it, but I just wanna get all of this painted dark. And I'm just using a flat synthetic brush for this, but just use whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. All right. And now with that dry, I'm gonna start layering colors on top of it. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get my shadow out of the way. So I just want to, I don't want to have my shadow just dark and nothing else to it. So I'm, I'm just kind of brushing in a little bit of color into it. Very loose. This, this can be any color. It can be any, anywhere on it. It's just, I'm just putting color. So now, um, on the horse, I want to be a little more thoughtful about it and, um, not necessarily thoughtful on the colors, but on the shapes of the colors. So like right here, that's his belly. Um, and I just mixed up red, yellow, and blue make brown if you mix them all together. So, um, or you could use brown, but I don't have brown on my palette. Um, but I just wanna brush some of that warm shade into the horse. And this helps to shape the horse, so uh, to keep him from being just a big blob, it actually adds um, definition and dimension to him. So right up here is gonna be the brightest area on the horse, the brightest area probably in the whole painting. Um, so it's, it's gonna look like the sun is shining off of him and um, there's a real bright spot right there where where his bottom's raised up in the air. So um, with the with the orange and yellow, I want to indicate that the sun is glaring off of him. So like areas where where the sun would be hitting because my light is coming from a, from the upper right. Uh, so it's hitting the top part of the horse, but not necessarily this side over here. So we're going to have little um, edges where, where the sun is hitting it. But on this left side of the horse, you're not going to have any of that really bright, except right there on his hip, you're not going to have any of that really bright color. So uh, just look at your reference photo and see where the lights and the darks are. And um, like I said, this helps shape the horse. So try to get those, you know, similar to what you, what you see, but, um, but just, just check out the reference photo and hopefully you've printed that off and you can um, go by it instead of having to exactly follow what I'm doing. But the lights and darks are important, but colors not so much. You can you can kind of mix up the colors and use what you want. Now 
Now throughout this whole painting, I'm just using, um, there's one, there's one area where I'll be using the hog bristle brush, but other than that, I'm just using flat synthetic brushes, just whatever size I need for the area I'm working in. So you can go back here around the horse and kind of reshape him any, anywhere that you may have gotten um, out of line or you just don't like the shape of it. You can go back and use that green background color and reshape the horse. So don't go to... Don't get upset if you if you mess up on the shape of him. So I'm just putting these little highlights in where the sun's hitting. And I'm just using the tip of, like the edge of my flat brush and just tapping it on. Now I brought this lighter color on down the leg a little bit, but I end up going back and, and putting some dark over it. So, um, so you might not want to, to do that step. So right up here, I'm just kind of putting some, uh, some lighter area where to indicate that that's where the, the my light is coming from. Uh, but again, just very messy, not detailed at all. Just keep it loose. And the shadow will also have a few little highlights around it, but not not a whole lot. But you know, your your horse is reflecting onto the ground, and it's highlighted. So, and right here, the road I feel like would have some little spots of highlight on it, so I just gumbled those in. Right there, I decided to darken that up again. All right, now this is the hog bristle brush and I'm using it to soften the edges of the shadow because I want I want the horse to be nice and crisp but the shadow I don't want it quite as quite as defined so I'm just kind of blurring out the edges so I'm just scrubbing this blue and black shade on And then I decided to scumble in a little bit more of that light violet color, but again, just whatever you like there. And I also decided to put a little bit of it up here on the horse. more highlights just keep your brush moving just keep it very very loose 
and that's it guys hope y'all enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day and god bless you